Good evening. We begin tonight outside the state house. That's where teachers gathered calling on state lawmakers to repeal its state budget proviso that prevents mass mandates and the funds to enforce them. The event took place even as schools can already implement mass mandates thanks to a federal judge's ruling. Nigel Hood tells us more. Lining the steps of the state house are 61 luminaries to represent 61 lives lost to COVID-19 in South Carolina schools. I have no choice but to put my life in your hands, yet you continue to fail me. Students, teachers, and parents are pleading for state lawmakers to repeal the statewide budget provisos in schools. Tragically, many have lost someone they loved to COVID. Would their lives have been back to normal more quickly if our state leaders had supported mitigation strategies rather than fighting against them? They are challenging state leaders for withholding state funds from schools that enforce mask mandates and place a cap on virtual learning. Although there are coronavirus vaccines available, children under the age of 12 are not eligible. You have intentionally put every student and every family at risk due to the budget provisos that you have set in place. Senator Mia McLeod was one of the two senators present at the vigil, along with Senator Mike Fanning. The lives we've lost, um, all of this is preventable. And it's sad that only a few of us are here today. Um, we were supposed to be in session, but that didn't happen. Senator McLeod says she is an advocate for repealing the budget proviso, but was outnumbered by the rest of the Senate. We can't continue to not consider the lives of our babies, our, our teachers, our, our staff members, our families, our communities. She says it is unlikely, though, the Senate will come back for a special session. I wish I, I could say that it is likely. Uh, but I believe my colleagues continue to show that they don't have the courage to do right by all of the people of South Carolina. In Columbia, Nigel Hood, News 19, WLTX. Tonight's event ended with a moment of silence remembering the lives lost to the virus in schools all across the state.